You're not trying to take every last dime of somebody. But to run a business profitably, you have to understand how to get more money per client. That doesn't mean steal all their money, lie to them, nothing like that. And if you have a bad heart, and stop watching this video. If you have a good heart, try and provide the most amount of value to people. Continue watching this video because you can provide more value, make more money in your business, you can help more people, and you're doing it in an ethical, logical way, okay? So what we're going to talk about today is from my client adventure map, which you can download the whole PDF with the link in the description, the tripwire funnel. This constitutes a sales page, an order page, an upsell, sometimes a downsell, and a second upsell, and then a thank you page and a couple of emails. Here's how it works, okay? So let's say we had a sales page. And on this sales page, you sold a book for $9, all right? And let's say it's converting pretty well. 25% of people who end up on that page end up getting the book. Means out of 100 people, 25 people said, yeah, I want the book. Let's do it. And they head to an order form page. They pay for it. All good. Now, we could take it a step further. And let's say because it's a book, you could sell a for 10% of the people who land there. Uh, a $9 audiobook, let's just say for simplicity here. Now what you do is you add an upsell right here. Now that upsell is going to have to be something like a mini course. And the easiest way to do this, you, yes, you could use Kajabi, you could use Teachable, you could use Thinkific, you could use a whole bunch of different softwares. The easiest way to do this to test and validate your concepts and ideas first is to sell them a playlist link. You can actually make a private playlist on YouTube and you sell them the link to the YouTube playlist. They already have access to YouTube. It's something they're familiar with. They're not going to get confused. And all it is is a mini course. So let's say it's a $47 mini course. Now, if they say no to the mini course, maybe you offer them something else. And in that case, it might be a full course for $297. Now, it says downsell. So you'd actually want to do the opposite. So your upsell might say, hey, get this course right now. It's the only time we're doing it at this price. It's going to be $297. They say, no, I don't want that course. Well, then you say, okay, how about a $47 version of that course where we break down the essentials to get you started? You can always upgrade later on at no additional extra fee or anything like that. You just pay the difference. You could totally do that. Now, someone says yes or no to that, and you offer them one more thing. And that one more thing might be private coaching at $2,500, okay, $2,500. And you say, hey, you've come this far. You really want uh, you know, to change your dog's behavior. Why don't we just do coaching? You still get the programs. You still get the courses. You still get the book. You still get the audio book. But you get one-on-one -on -one private coaching with an instructor. And they say yes, and then you go to a thank you page, okay? And let's say out of that, five people, 5% uh, say yes. And for the conversion rate, we'll say five people say yes to that. Uh, two people might say yes to the downsell. Okay. Now, we're going to simulate this through. First thing we need is some traffic, right? So we have a sales page. We have, we have our, our things lined up here. We have a sales page. We have an order form. We have an upsell, a downsell, an upsell, and a thank you page. We need to make one more connection here. If someone says yes to the downsell, we're also going to take them up there. And then we actually have our email. Um, so this is going to go right here. Whoa. Mm, eh, we'll leave that out for now. All right. Uh, so what we need is our traffic. We have everything in place. Now we need to be able to get people to our secret meeting place. This is our secret meeting place, our funnel. And so our traffic for today is going to be with YouTube search because we're selling courses that are possibly going to be on YouTube. So we want to make sure that those people are YouTube users. They're already going to be on YouTube. And let's say we get 500 people per month from YouTube to visit our site. Okay. Let's just say those are, those are pretty good numbers. All right. Boom. So there we go. We have our traffic. Let's see what happens here. Okay. So it looks like based off the numbers that we have, nobody is going to get to see this offer, which is interesting. Okay. Uh, it's just not enough people. So let's say we change that to a thousand people. Might get somebody there. And it's just because the conversion rates are so low that nobody's getting over here. Yeah, nobody's getting over here because it's 5% of 16,000. So we have 1,000 people hit the landing page. 250 people say, yeah, I want it. They buy it. 
let's actually in, uh, boost these conversion rates because they just bought something. And so the likelihood of them buying something again is actually pretty high. So let's look at that and we'll do 15% there. Actually, do we have the market average? Yeah, 20%. We'll do the market average here. Whenever possible, I like to use the market average. And we'll do that to 20% again. Okay, so now it's looking at the market average, which means you have a average funnel. You don't have an exceptional one. You don't have a bad one. You just have an average one. Let's look at it. Boom, there you go. So if you have a really bad funnel, meaning you don't know it works, and it's 5% converting, then why would you pay money on ads, which is usually what people do. They start doing ads first, and then they figure out the funnel afterwards. That's the baloney way to do it. You should be making a funnel, perfecting it, then start paying money to get ads there, okay, to, to push ads onto your funnel. But let's say you get a 1,000 people from YouTube every month, which if you're a dog trainer, just show before and after videos. People love those. So you get them to a sales page. They go to the order form, right? They bought a $9 book. It could be a very simple book. $9 book. They go to the order form. Then you show them, hey, here's this course that goes along with the book. Would you like it? No. Hey, here's a miniaturized version of the course where we just go over the key points. Would you like that? No. Hey, you already came this far. Why don't we just do coaching together? Clearly, you're looking for a solution. Let me help you do it that much faster without the mistakes and having support for the rest of your life. Boom. And at this rate, you would make $56,000 a month. Now, contrast that to if you got rid of all of this. All right. If you just took out these three pieces and all you did was say, hey, here's my book. Do you want it? Yes or no. You're going to make $2,000 a month. So you've essentially 2000 to 50000 I'm not going to do the math in my head at the moment, but it's a hell of a lot. You, you've 10x, 20x, almost 30x. Yeah, you almost 30 x your income just by offering these other things. And the only thing that requires more of your time would be the private one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is a substantial amount of money anyway. So I don't think you would be too salty about it. But the two courses that you could provide would be very easy for you to do. It'd take a whole week, maybe, maybe a weekend if you're good with the editing and that kind of thing. You could have a VA do the editing. But what you're doing here is giving people more, not, not stealing their money, Right? If you have a bad heart, again, as I said earlier, if you have a bad heart, it's not going to go well. It's going to be like, no. If you have a good heart, you're trying to give people more to help them through the struggle that they're having right now. You're not giving them more solutions just to confuse them. You're giving them more ways to practice and hone the solution that you provide. You gave them a book so they can read it. That's going to get them about you know 20% of the way there. You're going to give them an audio book, which means they're going to remember 10% more of the information. Okay, so that's 30%. Then you're going to show them and demonstrate in a course. That's going to get them at least to 50, 60% of understanding the full knowledge. Then you're going to have someone mentor them. That's the closest you could possibly get for them to have 100% of the knowledge that you have on the topic. That's the way to do it. That's how dog trainers have been doing it for decades and making a lot of money, right? They, they sell them something simple like a, a one-off session, then they say, hey, do you want a package of sessions? Hey, do you then want to do this class? Hey, do you want to then join this club? And there's a membership fee to it. That's how dog trainers have been doing it forever. If you're running a dog training business and you have questions about funnels and operating your business like this in a way that's automated, easy for you to do, the selling's done, the marketing's easy, then put it down in the comments what type of business you run and I'll make a video tailored specifically to that style of dog training business. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to never miss a video and I'll see you next time.